Well, we come now to the second of the bronze medal contests in the under 73 kilo category. Rustam Oroshov of Azerbaijan faces Musa Magushkov of Russia. Oroshov in the white jadogi, Magushkov in blue, the referee in the middle. But this one is Artur Fandro of Belarus. Well, here we come. This has been this is one I'm really looking forward to because this is definitely a very challenging match indeed. Really interesting to watch how these two will compete against each other. The Azerbaijan Orizhov, Olympic silver medalist, world masters champion. The Grand Prix champion of 2018 from Russia, Musa Phenomenal athlete. Up until he lost to get into the final for me, he has had a really good performance. A great performance. I think he defeated Shavadash Philly, was it? I've got my pool sheets there. <laughs> In the earlier rounds and um, yes, that's right. In the quarterfinal stage. Gushkov defeating Shavadashvili, who's just picked up the bronze medal. Orozhov always had that habit of tidying up his own gear anyway. You know, you, you see him tucking his yes, gear all the time. Yes, he always keeps it nice to look tidy. tidy. Yeah. yeah. So no need to warn him or to tell when him about it. Size, I know they, they check the gears, but it's really to the mark, yes, isn't it? On, on the limit, as they call it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when he breathes in. Yeah, uh, they're having a look. Uh, this one to determine if there's going to be a score here but I, I didn't see anything that I thought would be worth giving one out for but they have, have yeah. Magushkov is continuation on the board well, that gives them a good start but still three minutes to go the, the thing about that was Magushkov was still in Tachiwaza he could still but Orojov came up. And he was, he was in he, Tachi, was he? Yeah. He hadn't gone on the ground. He, he, although his knees were on the ground, he hadn't entered into ground work yeah, so as yet. So Magushkov could still, still come up with the score, which he did. And it wasn't a counter. So Magushkov could use the Sotemi was He could use his which, own back which, yeah, to execute that, that technique. Yeah, yeah, that's why that was scored then. So that's why that one went on the board. Plenty of time left, however. Yeah, two and a half minutes remaining in this contest. Magushkov takes the lead, though, with the Wazari, which piles a little bit of pressure on Orijov, who's just got a, a bit of a knock to the head. There's no penalty for stepping off the mat as Orozhov appeared to step off the mat having taken a blow accidentally from Magushkov so they didn't penalise him for stepping no. off. That would have been a bit harsh. It would have it? been really. <laughs> Salt in the room that would have been. Half the contest gone. Magushkov on the board with Wazari. He's picked up a single penalty but it really is Orozhov who's struggling yeah. here. Well, Magushkov really is piling on the pressure and that arm, that forearm smash that's getting across the head is really upsetting Orozhov and um, he picks up a shido as well as a, a thump to the head as well. Surprised with just the height difference, how he's managing to reach and catch him in that position. But Orojov is really needs to calm it down. He needs to keep his thoughts focused and in a very positive way and not lose sight of this contest. Yeah, he's had a couple of run-ins with Magushkov. Oh, what a nice change of direction there. He was in so deep. And that, that's just unsettled him that little bit. Yes, it has. And to keep focus. He got caught right early in this contest and he hasn't really rescued himself from that as yet. 
And I can't, for, for the life of me, understand why he continues to flirt with the edge. Yeah, they're both really on that situation. But Magushkov, I think as well, is leading to the edge just to play safe and Absolutely. looking for that Mate situation as well. Because every time there's a Mate, there's a couple of seconds that's sort of drawn off the clock, isn't it? And um, tactically, it's most probably an advantage for Magushkov. But, oh, these left his arm out. Oh, my goodness me. Another good transition that we've seen throughout the day. But that was just like junior, like judo, wasn't it? It was a very junior mistake for such a mature athlete to go down like that and leave his arm out with a big message saying, take me, it's is hard. unbelievable. It's hard to believe when you look at that situation that Magushkov would have been so naive to think that he could go to ground and leave his arm out there and not come away with it, having it ripped off. Goodness me. Shocking, really. That is, that is shocking. He's up a wazari, he does all that work, and all of a sudden he goes down in the ground and gives him a big message saying, Take me. Here it is, you can have it. And Orijov, well, he's got time to smile and a wink in the eye, and off he goes. And he just thinks that was a lucky call, that one. Thank and, you. And it, it, it was actually because Magushkov to that point he was had looking to score good. The board, yeah. He, he was, was looking, looking comfortable. He looked like he wasn't going to lose that match. Uh, in the touch it was it he was all over that and you can see here the highlights of this Brunswick contest what was he doing with his arms stuck out there I think in fairness if you watch Orijov he's got that arm look yeah. he had it from underneath but he just came under and over which trapped above the elbow and just didn't give him much chance to slip the arm out if he had caught it below the elbow that wouldn't have been happening but he actually managed to tuck the arm under there you see it under over above the elbow it was on there he just managed to execute it a bit better by twisting forward onto his face the minute that Bogushkov began to go 